Hello YouTube, we're back at Tampere, we're in Tampere, Kupli, that takes place from Wednesday to Sunday, but this time we're here from Friday to Sunday. Last year we were apparently here only for Friday and Saturday, which came as a surprise to me when I was rewatching the video from last year. Uh, but yeah, we're here again for three days this time, and we're hoping to see some cosplay, some AMV, some artist alley some stuff but today is friday and today's program already ended at five and we just got here at four so um we're not gonna see any of the program for friday but we are going shopping so here's a shopping montage so first off we decided to go to urumi which is an anime shop in tampere but they had moved this is their previous location but they had moved thankfully not too far away just a couple of minutes away so it wasn't too hard to find but now they had a bigger very nice store they had lots of figures plushies anime merchandise obviously posters i think they had some Japanese snacks as well. So really all the sort of stuff you would expect to find from a good anime shop So definitely check them out if you're in the area Then we went to Fantasia Belly Tampere, which similarly to their biggest store in Helsinki sells loads of manga as well as comics and minifigures and games I got this fifth volume of the Grandmaster of Demonic Cultivation. Yes, I am planning to buy the whole series I really love this volume, it looks beautiful, I'm super happy with it. Then we saw this Asian market, which wasn't originally part of our plans, but we saw it, we thought, hey, why not? Now, I've worked for an anime shop for five years, and we also sold lots of sweets and Japanese and Asian snacks, so I'm not usually that impressed by Asian food stores, but this place, wow, this place really impressed me. They had aisles and aisles of noodles, aisles and aisles of teas, drinks, they had frozen products like dumplings, they even had dumpling dough, all sorts of ready to eat stuff as well as stuff for making your own food and cooking Asian foods. It was amazing, I was really impressed. I got these two noodles, this one I had tried before, but the other curry one I hadn't seen before. Genuinely really really impressed with the selection, definitely check it out if you're there. Then we went to Puolikun Pelit, which translates to Half Moon Games, and as the name suggests, they had lots of games. Tabletop games, card games, video games for different consoles, tamagotchis, and even other stuff like anime plushies and figures. But there was one thing I was actually really surprised about, which was the fact that they also had My Little Pony stuff and also Barbie dolls. They had these movie exclusive dolls, some of which I haven't seen before, and some collector's dolls. I actually purchased the game from this store. I got the Tinkerbell, Great Fairy Rescue, Nintendo DS game. They actually had two Tinkerbell games, but this one was 10 euros cheaper, and I didn't know which one was better anyways, and I don't have either of them, so I got this one. I already played it a bit, and I really like it. It honestly reminds me a lot of Pixie Hollow Online, which is a game I sorely missed and I loved it so much as a kid. And it reminds me of that, you get to do little fairy things, put together outfits, play games. It is much, much more difficult than Pixie Hollow. I think the difficulty level is kind of a little bit crazy. I'm not too good with games, but I've already had to skip over some parts because it allows you to skip after a certain number of fails. Um, the difficulty level is surprisingly hard, but I do enjoy it a lot. Then we went to Cybershop, which I've also featured in my other videos. It's a sort of alternative fashion, gothic, punk, old fashioned place that now also has a secondhand section. We didn't get anything from there. Then we went to Stockman's little toy store. We wanted to go to the toy store we visited in Dampere last time, but they had moved like an hour away, so we didn't go there. So we looked at some dolls and we also visited some bookstores, and that was the end of our shopping day. Day two began with us trying to reserve tickets for the cosplay competition and the AMV contest. This time you had to reserve them at nine o'clock online last year they had a live queue but this time you had to reserve them we got free tickets for the amv contest but sadly didn't manage to get the cosplay competition tickets so we went to the venue and it was really packed on day one or saturday rather this footage is from the second floor and the second floor was slightly less packed but the first floor was really, really packed. On the second floor, they had these tables for different conventions. They were promoting their event, raising awareness about them. Also, part of the artist alley was there. Now, 
I was amazed by the art. I want to say that Peter Kumpli, he is one of the best, if not the best artist alley I have ever been to. It was huge, but it didn't just have quantity, it had quality. All of the artists had carefully been chosen, had very clearly gone through a process where they had been chosen because they were so talented. There was so much amazing art to see that just wowed me. I was really impressed by the artist alley. So during the cosplay competition, we tried to go to the large vendors area because we thought there would be less people there. This is the area where there were professional shops and bigger artists, but it was still super packed even during the cosplay competition where lots of people were watching the competition. So there were still areas of the large vendor area that we couldn't get to on Saturday. But thankfully at 2.30 we had the AMV Plus competition to enjoy. It was called the AMV Plus competition because for the first time not only were anime music video allowed and music videos made out of video games but you could also use live action footage footage with real actors and you could also use western media i think the show was really nicely put together of course i am a huge sucker for amv contests they're my favorite thing usually at finnish conventions but i think the show was really nicely put together the showrunner played their character really really well they played a sort of slightly psychotic clown and they played it really really well there were a total of 24 videos shown to us on the first day in blocks of 12 videos but a total of 54 videos were actually submitted to the event and on the second day I believe they actually showed some of those other videos but I wasn't able to attend the AMV show on the second day on Sunday so I'm not entirely sure what went on there. In the middle of the two blocks they introduced the judges as they often do in AMV contests. This was done with little video clips made by the judges in various different styles, some of them looking like AMV, some of them little animations. I always really love when they do that. The judges clearly had a very difficult task because I feel like the quality of the creators content was so amazing. It was really really good last year, don't get me wrong, it was great, but I feel like this year it was even better, the quality was even higher. I feel like the event really benefited from having the AMV plus side so that people were able to submit works that also included live action shows and shows with actors. There was some really interesting creative editing, there was some great typography. If I can find some sort of playlist on YouTube I'll link it down below. But there was this really nice Hannibal video that I enjoyed, I really like one of the Aladdin ones. There were really so many great videos. There were a couple of arcane ones. I feel like there's always arcane. And then there was also a video with running up that hill as the music, which I feel like always happens as well. Uh, but really great, fantastic content. It was super hard to choose the audience's favorite. Here you can see the video that won the first place, which was a Disney edit on a Finnish song and it was really amazing too. So because the venue was so packed on the first day, me and my friends didn't stay for much longer after the AMV contest and we wanted to eat. And Tampere has a restaurant called Momotako and they serve lotus root pork chili soup. And because it's like Veivusian's favorite food, I definitely had to try it because I was in Veivusian cosplay, so I did, it was great. Sunday was much more chill in terms of there being way less people. I feel like there were maybe even like three or four times less people so I could actually see the stalls, I could actually see the art and I could actually film it. I can't say that I recommend going only for the Sunday because there were some artists that were only available on Saturday and of course people buy the first stuff on Saturday so you might miss something that you would otherwise really want to get. But if you don't like big crowds and you want it to be way more chill and have way more space, then I do recommend checking it out on Sunday. And I definitely recommend checking it out for all the amazing art. On the second day, there was actually this Crime Alley program, which was a fan-made Batman film that you could watch. But sadly, we didn't have time because it overlapped with the Lolita meetup that we went to. But they had this art of the 
film as well that I showed you here. And in addition to that, there was also loads of other art that wasn't for sale, but was displayed as an exhibition. You could also meet these artists and get their autographs, and a lot of them had their own panels at the end. I didn't personally visit any of those, but I think if you're a fan of these artists and really like their work, that really even adds to the event and makes it even better. There was also a cosplay photo competition, which you can see here. So even though we couldn't see the cosplay competition, we got to enjoy some of the cosplay photos. The main large vendors area was also much more chill on Sunday and there was much more space and less people. So we could freely walk there as well and see all the stuff that we didn't see before. There was a heavy emphasis on books and comics because Tampere Kupli is a comic book festival, of course. There were loads of uh, comic books. There were like big comic book stores, vendors, but also lots of independent artists as well. And then, of course, in the vendors area, they also had figures and anime merchandise and bigger independent artists who have their own small companies. Here you can see Talking to Myself, who is probably my favorite Finnish accessory artist. They do really uh, Lolita suitable stuff and I love it. The art, again, really, really amazing from all of the artists. You can really tell that they have picked amazing amazing artists and I definitely recommend visiting Tampere Kupli for the art alone even if nothing else speaks to you. It is a free event so that is amazing as well. So after doing some shopping we went to a Lolita meetup hosted at this event. The meetup was hosted by Helagon Aru which is a non-profit organization which organizes Helicon, which is one of my favorite conventions of all time and I have videos on it, so definitely check it out. But they also host a variety of different smaller Lolita events in Finland. This year they're not doing Helicon, so they are organizing all sorts of small events at other conventions. The meetup consisted of a Lolita quiz where we became third, so I think that went pretty well. There was a small quiz with like 10 questions and then there was time for us to each introduce ourselves and talk about ourselves and talk amongst ourselves a little bit and we also did a group photo. I would like to thank Freaky Angel for this amazing, amazing footage. Definitely check her out because she also does Lolita content on her channel, which I will link below. And she also has an amazing blog where she will write about this event. So I'll try to link that as well. Definitely check her out. She's super nice and her content is amazing. Thank you so much again for this footage. I would not have had enough without these clips. So here's my own coat that I wore. And after the Lolita meetup, we just hang out at the event a little bit and then we went home. Again, I definitely recommend this event for the Artist Alley alone because it is amazing. But if you're interested in comic books, comic book art, comic book artists, then definitely as well. Check this event out. It's free. Okay guys, here's everything I got from them for the complete. First I got two necklaces by talking to myself. It's a super realistic cookie and it's super pretty. And there are pearls on the necklace part as well, and a little bow. So these are the two jewelry accessories I got, and now on to art. So first off we have stickers. I got this Bloom sticker, and I got this Musa sticker. And both of these are from an artist whose Enchantix Wings art I have gotten before, and they have like Barbie art and all sorts of other art as well. And I really, really liked it. This is their um, social media, so you can follow them. And then I got this little Windmaster sticker. And then from another artist, I got this Celian sticker, which is super cute. And then from the same artist, I got this really, really cute sticker function. And these are slightly soft to the touch, which I think is really, really cute and cool. But on the first day, I got this beautiful Wangxian art. It's so pretty. This is by the same artist who made the stickers, these ones. So yeah, it, I think it's just just gorgeous, gorgeous. Then on the second day I got this beautiful Wangxian art piece. It's really, really, really pretty and I love it. And then I also got this absolutely gorgeous Huolian art. I love the details. I love the art style. It's just 
so gorgeous, melancholic, wedging is kissing a statue. It's uh, it's perfect. I absolutely love it. And yeah, not uh, not counting presents that I got for some of my friends. This is actually everything I got from Dump Pedagogli. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. I definitely recommend checking out the event. I have a lot of videos coming up very soon. So if you're interested in more of my stuff, click subscribe and leave a like and a comment down below, uh, especially if you were at the event. And I'll see you in my next videos. Bye!